making a gorgeous spring greens and feta phyllo pastry tart today. It's a brilliant one to have around the weekend because you can have for a little bit of lunch or a light supper with some salad. I've got my leeks and my garlic. I'm going to slice up my leeks, crush down my garlic, sweat them down with a little bit of olive oil and then add in all this gorgeous spinach. pan is over a medium heat with a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm adding in my leeks and my crushed garlic. I'm going to give them a little stir and then what I want them to do is really sweat down before I add in the spinach. So I'm putting a lid on it. While the leeks are sweating I'm going to mix of the eggs. So I'm popping in two eggs into a big mixing bowl. These are from my hens at our farm. And next I'm going to pop in two millilitres of double cream and then lots of parmesan cheese. I'm going to finely grate in. This is 80 grams in total. Okay that's the parmesan in. I'm going to put in some sea salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And then I'm gonna whisk them together. Okay, back to the leeks. Woo, that's a steam. <laughs> okay, the leeks are lovely and sweated down. And now I'm adding in all the lovely spinach. And we're going to wilt down the spinach. It only takes about a minute. My spinach has melted down. I'm going to take this off the heat and allow it to cool a little bit. The leeks and the spinach has cooled and I'm going to pop it into the egg and parmesan and cream mixture and we're going to mix all those together and then we're going to add in the feta. We're going to fold in the feta just to keep those lovely little crumbles. Let me just get all the rest of this. Let me use my spatula. Look at my spatula. It looks like I've been chewing on it, which I promise I haven't. It's time for me to get a new spatula, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed by that. I never noticed it before. Anyhow, there we go. <laughs> How does it become like that? Mixing all that together. If you love pepper, like I do, you can add some more black pepper in. So why not? And if you love parmesan, add more parmesan in it. And if you prefer like a mature cheddar or a gouda um, or a gruyere, you could add that instead of the parmesan. Um, instead of the feta, you could put in fresh ricotta. It would be delicious too. Um, or goat's cheese. So in goes that. And then I'm just going to fold all of those together. So keeping those lovely crumbles. And that is the filling. Now, so next up is the pastry that we're going to use. I'm using phyllo pastry. You could use puff pastry if you want to, but the phyllo pastry for this is fantastic. You can buy it fresh or you can buy it frozen. Brilliant to have in your freezer. And you can use a tart tin. I'm using a cake tin with a spring tin on it because I don't have my tin here in London. So I'm using this one, which I think is going to work out perfectly. We'll see. Good experiment. I'm sure not everybody has a fluted tartan, but maybe you have one of these. It definitely works in a fluted tartan. So I'm going to do it in this. So what you need is your pastry. You need some melted butter and you need a pastry brush. The first thing I'm going to do is just butter the tin all the way around. And then we're going to butter all the sheets of phyllo pastry and start layering them around the tin. is quite relaxing. It's like doing a paint job and back to my renovation. <laughs> but you want to liberally paint it with your pastry brush with butter. I'm going to use four sheets. So it's like it's wallpaper. So I've got two sheets of phyllo pastry here and I've buttered one side and the other side as well. I'm kind of doubling up. And then what you want to do is, because we're going to put another sheet on this side, you want to kind of veer it towards one side so it's falling over. And then when we have this all filled, what we're going to do is crumble up the edges. 
on the other pastry sheets on the other side. It can break, it's so delicate, but you just plaster it up. That's the great thing about filler pastry, you can really plaster it back up. Now, like so. And then we're gonna put the filling in. Just make sure I gently pop it down to the side like that. Okay, and now we're just gonna pop the filling into it. Give it another little mix and then pop it all in. Like so. Because of the eggs in here, this will rise. Mix it around and then we're gonna crumple up the edges like this, which is very, very satisfying, like so. Fill them in a little bit, just tucking them all in. So I'm tucking it underneath so you can see all of it's nice and neat and tucked under. So it'll be gorgeous frill. And you can, if you want to, add a little bit more butter at the top. What that will do is make it lovely and crunchy and golden in colour. Now my oven is preheated. I'm going to pop this in for 30 minutes. It's done! Now I just need to let it cool. <laughs> 